All right, guys, stay with me here. So I'm going to debunk the, hey, you don't need a surfactant in your bleach. Uh, number one, when we buy our bleach, this happens to be 12.5%, it comes with no surfactant. Now, if <clears throat> I'm not sure of pool shock. I've never bought it. But I do know your household bleach, on most of it says, um, like 4% bleach, such and such water, plus surfactants. So your household bleach does have a surfactant in it, at least some the stuff we've been buying. So, but this doesn't. What's a surfactant? Well, all surfactant is, is it makes water wetter. How does it do that? It um, eliminates the water surface tension. So when you spray water on, let's say this vinyl siding, it will bead up. Well, when you relieve the surface tension, it will lay out. And if, if your bleach or soap solution lays out, it has better coverage, um, it works better, because the surface, ten surface tension is gone. So anyway, um, this is my first um, surfactant I've ever used, and it's the only one I use, Snotmanade from Southside Equipment. Now you can use whatever you want. I've had really good luck with this. And, and at the rates I use it at, there's you can't smell anything. So don't worry if it's lemon or cherry or who knows what. Um, you know, if I could buy Snotmanade uh, with no scent, and it was definitely if it's cheaper, I would buy that. But um, this surfactant says one ounce per gallon okay so there lies the problem now this company and all the other companies are in business to sell chemicals I believe these the chemical sales of these companies probably are the bulk of their profit high profit margin on these uh, most of them are getting it made elsewhere and having it drop shipped they don't make it there but um, and I don't know about Southside. I can't say that for everybody, but that's the that's what most people do. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do a little experiment here. The sun's hitting this just right. It's it just got some surface dust on it. Uh, it's not dirty, but it's it's going to be perfect. So <clears throat> the biggest problem is if you mix one ounce per gallon and you spray it on, yes, you're going to smell it and you're going to see it and it's going to it's going to take longer to rinse it's doing its job but it's overdoing its job so when we have a hard time rinsing especially on on EFIS or any other porous surface it's because we're adding too much one ounce per gallon is way too much we just need enough to break the surface tension and no more so you guys if you follow me, you've seen that I've uh, used these Craftsman sprayers. I've had one for six months. My son took it over for some of his stuff. I just bought two more. Um, they're battery-powered sprayers. Takes four AA batteries, but it it does come with four AA batteries. And on my last one, they were Ever Ready's. So, uh, so I can get this off. So it's a good quality batteries. You can just pull that out without taking the cap off, but I just wanted to show you. There's your four double A's. And look, Rayovax are already loaded into it. So all this is, I've done, I've, I'm gonna show you something, hold on. Here's what I wanna show you. I have built, this is my second five gallon sprayer I've built, okay? Um, it works great if the bucket's full. Once it gets halfway down and you pull on this hose a little bit, it'll fall over. The other issue is that once you get it, if you use a small tip, it atomizes, and I spray a lot of acid with mine, it atomizes the spray in such a way that just the slightest breeze will get it on you. So I like a larger orifice 
but with a larger orifice this doesn't work as good so between those two things especially that it falls over because it's top heavy all this crap and the battery is on top and right when I look at that already broke off here um, anyway so when I need it I'll I'll tip it over so I got rid of this and I went to these and there's no turning back so let me get this un, unwound here okay let's see if it works oh, oh got a lock on it well this has got a lock on it. I don't rem remember my other one that have one here all right go here and we just you just pop this baby in snaps in drop it in it it fits any gallon jug like so okay so adjustable nozzle here we're going to put it i like this because even at its finest mist it's not like a true um fine mist it still has larger um droplets so as far as spraying back on you it there's no problem with that so i'm going to prime that up okay so um we're primed up with 12 and a half percent zero fact uh zero um surfactant so there is 20 about 25 and a half milliliters in an ounce this is a three milliliter uh what do you call those things anyway there's three milliliters in that it dropper um so if whatever your whatever your surfactant says to mix it at mix it at only 10 percent so this this basically is saying mix it at at 30 milliliters i'm going to only go three and let's do this There's two. I got. I got to do this in a. Okay. So there's. Get that bubble out of there. So there's three milliliters. So that's that's only ten percent of what they're recommending. Okay. We're going to set this over here. And. So we're going to do a, a test area. There's my water I sprayed. So we're going to we're going to put here uh, zero surfactant with 12 and a half percent. Okay, we can look at it. Looks pretty good. Okay, all right. So now we're going to go with the surfactant put that in rinse that out all right when I'm spraying at only 10% surfactant it does foam enough that I can see it's coming out okay now we're going to bleed what's in this hose out okay now no surfactant surfactant you can see the little bubbles here that means it's working nice and slick when you're spraying you can see it I thought it'd be easier to see on here. Maybe you can see it. I'll get close here. You can tell this is laying out. There's there's little areas in here. It's not laid out. It's all laid out in here. See the, see the places it almost looks like it didn't even cover. Like right here. You see that where it looks like it's not even covering. If you look here short of the bubbles you can see that we have full coverage 
see that little bit will make your job a lot better it'll it'll make your uh, bleach work better and it actually with just that little amount doesn't take any extra rinsing and your glass looks great and I quit using let me go let me get back to my machine here okay uh, I quit using a double barb where I was pulling out of here that's where the snotmonade was and mixing it with the bleach but now I just I've eliminated that double barb and now I just add the surfactant to my tank what that does is when I'm using when I'm using either my um, diaphragm pump or the uh, downstream bypass when I'm calling for bleach I can actually see it instantly when that bleach comes out and if I see a little bit of suds I know my bleach is there because I've mixed it into my tank um, that was especially for this uh, AR here's my soap and I was always jacking with my soap by the time I got it to come out I would had to come back and turn it down and then I turn it back up it was a pain so once I figured I just turn that baby off add just a little surfactant and you people are like what about post and pre-treating when you add that much which is a little bit you've got no issues with post or pre-treating rinsing um, so anyway just letting you know that just put a little bit in and it's going to be a world of difference not covering covering so that's just my little tip i also would like to know how many people bought this gun because i recommended it because my other gun is four or five months old i shoot nothing but strong stuff through it the same gun i will shoot 12 and a half percent six percent through it rinse it and then run acid through it and that thing's lasted well it's lasted four to six months this was on special on amazon uh it may be off by now but it was like eight dollars and 49 cents with batteries and uh hey uh fresh rinse mike quit pumping up your sprayer man get one of these um it shoots a long way too here we go well, i gotta rinse that but anyway that's 10 that's that's 20 feet so especially if you got something down here you can cover a lot of ground look at this in this is at its finest mist i got it screwed all the way down and i can't even smell it because it comes out in big enough droplets i can cover a big area really quick with that surfactant you don't have to hit every little spot because it will lay out anyway that's my deal so how do i know that um a little bit of surfactant is better than none is because half the year last year I bought into I don't need a surfactant and I washed half my houses at the end of last year with zero surfactant and then I could see a difference so come this spring I started using surfactant again at this rate and it's it's been great so a five gallon jug is gonna last you it could last you depend on how many houses you do at that rate could last you a year two years anyway so that's my uh tip of the day tip of the year so if you if you're not using the surfactant get it use it only at 10 percent what's recommended and you're going to see a big difference okay here's a little bonus i thought i was done with the video but i want to show you how i rinse this so i i take the lid off like this put the remainder in nothing comes out I have a little water spigot here on my it's hooked up to my tote I put that in and that's how I rinse it now I'll rinse this off you just don't want any water up in here 
to rinse it all off. Let's see how far it goes here. Yep. I mean, there may be a time where you need to, you know, hit a higher peak or something like that. So maybe a pump-up sprayer is a little bit stronger. But uh, let me tell you, this thing, to just whip this out, put it in either bleach or a, an acid bottle and just go after your, your issue. It's perfect. It's only nine bucks. So if it lasts you... It's nine bucks. It lasts you two weeks and you throw it away. It's worth it because who wants to pump up a little stupid sprayer? And most of them, unless you get an acid sprayer, will be gone and be done in, in two weeks anyway. working all right 